Welcome back to Court Farm for episode 17, with me, Mr CDP. We're into January here on Court Farm, it's been snowing relentlessly. Up until about five minutes ago, there was snow on the ground everywhere, thick snow, and all of a sudden, boom, just disappeared. It, the weather forecast is showing it's going to continue to snow. I think because the temperature's come up, it's four degrees and it's five degrees, I suppose, overnight, we go right the way through. Yeah, it's just going to continue. And we get into the minus numbers then around midnight, but then that's literally just changed. January 2 is now saying no snow, then 3, then February. It's changing. Ever changing, but never mind. Um, I have got a call to get up to Court Farm. Um, they have got pigs being delivered. Um, it was that they were going to be pigs in blankets. It was going to be blanket of snow on them. Um, I don't think when they ordered them to come after Christmas, they were expecting, you know, it to snow like this. But anyway, so I need to get up there because they're going to be delivered. Um, we have got well, I've got a load more apples here that we we'll need to take off. Um, oh, that's what I was going to show you as well. Um, I did all that baling. Well, we're going to get up to the farm. I'll show you. Um, that field we managed to get done and baled and wrapped before the snow started which was great <laughs> but we're still in that position where today didn't get light till 11 and even then i mean we're just barely light it's not really light light at all is it so yeah we've got um all of the apples are off the floor they're onto the trailer they're good to go and that's two no two months worth month and a half something like that um, and yeah, so pigs, I think Court Farm, they've ordered the pigs, they're on the way. They've got, um, I'm on their account at the moment actually. They've got pig food ordered, that's coming. But we need to get them in, uh, they're in pasture, so I don't think they're going to require bedding. We haven't done any more on the um, concrete wall, that stayed as it is. The lumber stayed where it is. I did do, when I did the episode when I was doing the logging, I did take another pile out to the um, pet accessory store, which they were going to then mill into long planks. So when we go out there to sell the apples, we can have a look and see what the situation is there. I can't believe people are still camping. Hot tenting, only way to go when the weather's like this. And we've still got this very bizarre situation occurring that I explained or showed when I did the Remembrance episode um, where this is running continuously and filling up, I mean like filling up to the top that is still showing as 492 litres and hasn't gone down it's very odd, this is chugging away we've got a load of manure pellets need to be taken so I can take those as well for um, for Court Farm so we've got a few bits to do but what I was going to show you was the bale situation out in that field. We've got a few more eggs, not too many. Cows are still producing milk and seem very happy in their environment, which is lovely. I have mucked them out this morning, which is great. We're not getting through too much straw either, so I think with the silage barrels we've got and what we've got on hand out here now, we should get through the winter, no problem at all. And then once, once the grass starts to grow again, I haven't even touched the silage clamp, which is brilliant. I think what I might do at some point is do a if we do maize harvesting, I'll have I'll have a, one clamp will just be a maize clamp. It will be it will be silage, of course it will, but it will all have come from maize, and then a separate one which will be grass silage. I might do that. So yeah, this field here, we've got it all baled, all wrapped, and these should be fermenting. I don't know what they're going to be at, but uh, what we're looking at, fermenting 51%. So they're not done yet, and they can stay out here wrapped. Doesn't matter indefinitely. We can come and collect them when we need them, I guess. Um, so I've been keeping up with feeding the cows. But the map, the area, the farmland, massive shout to Pete. Thank you to Pete. Now, as part of an update coming, apparently they're gonna, you're going to have the ability to buy the periphery, the verges of the map. And Pete messaged me and said, oh, I've already done it. So, like, oh, OK, I assumed he was on PC. Because you know, like that. So we've got the verges, the periphery, but that comes with some bonuses. Um, because on bits where you can actually access it, like all this land here, um, you've got access to land that can be cultivated or whatever. So what I did, this bit of land here, this little stretch here, between the two fields that we own, or next to the two fields, 
or four fields up your own, should I say. Um, I, I mowed that and baled it. And that little patch there, I mowed and baled it. We didn't get a huge amount of bales, but we've got some silage bales off of that. Now, the frustrating thing with this is, I can't remember. Because um, when you go around the map, pressing all around this, sometimes you get information where it says field info, obviously depending if you've got precision farming on. Um, but you click on it, and there's one point on the map that you can click and it will give you the option to purchase the land. Only one. And I can't remember for the life of me. When Pete messaged me and said, oh, he was at the football. And he said, when I get back from the football, I'll message you and I'll send you a picture to show you the plot, the bit you can purchase. And that purchase all the, the periphery. Um, I went round and round the map of finding all these little bits and clicking on them. And I, I just clicked on one and it came up, do you wish to buy for zero? So I thought, oh yeah, and it just bought everything. But I can't remember where. It is on here, so if you do want to, hence my ability to um, do the war memorial that we did. But I, I honestly, I thought it was down here somewhere. But I keep going around and clicking on all these different bits, thinking it will come up if I want to sell it, maybe. But I've got nothing coming up. But it is on here. It, it is. You can do it on console, on play. I'm on PlayStation Five. You can buy the verges, but it's just a case of clicking around everywhere until you come to it. It's here somewhere. Anyway, so we have the verges. So I've done a bit of um, bailing on plots of land. Although, a couple of, or one of the plots, I have to go through a low a low patch in the hedges. You might also see there's a couple of bales. I went around the edges of the fields that we own here on Court Farm. Or Court Farm own. And um, did some random bales you can see in the next field over as well. So I just bailed what I could. As much as I could. So I want to I want to get to a point where we start getting it when it gets lighter again. It's one of those weird ones. A lot of people said, oh, you know, the lighting in the summer was too bright, <laughs> and then you get to the winter now and it's like, oh yeah, it's dark in it. So pigs, they're on the way. I'll wait for the driver to arrive. They'll drop them off, and then we'll look at the situation with regard to bedding and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is park up there. I'm probably going to wait in here actually. Be a lot warmer. But let's get the gate open so when they arrive, they can just drop them off. All good to go. It's frustrating about the, the uh, about the snow because it looked absolutely amazing. It was everywhere. Back in the warm, I say warm. It's a Land Rover. I mean, <laughs> within some level of uh, warmth. Anyway. Okay, well that's them delivered, so let's get the gate closed. Oh, it's going to be nippy, in it? Chilly pigs. What's that? Pigs in blankets. Or pigs in a blanket, but pigs in blankets. Is that just a UK thing? Or pigs in blankets everywhere? So I don't, it's another one of those weird things. Maybe they are, maybe they're everywhere, I don't know. 
Like little sausages wrapped in bacon? Is that a thing everywhere or is it just in the UK? They've ordered 30. They're in. We've just got to sort them out now. So let's just actually double check on... Pigs. Nope, just water. Because they're in a pasture, they're not going to need bedding. They're not going to produce slurry or anything like that. They will just reproduce and we'll get more pigs. But again, this is more about... I mean, it's a, it's a working farm, obviously. And we were talking about when we... It was helping court farm. Um, we were doing... We are doing contracting, obviously, for KCC. But it's about making court farm the court farm country park. So when visitors come, there's animals for them to see. We've got the rabbits. We've got the chickens. We've got the um, cows in there now. We've now got pigs in. Like I said, we might do horses. I've been banned from doing sheep. Um, all that being said though, at some point, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it, um, but um, Heavy Metal Gaming was the person I said a while ago about someone had messaged me to ask if they could look after um, Jeremy. And I said, oh yeah, of course, no problem at all. So uh, Heavy Metal Gaming messaged me the other night and said, oh, would you like me to send you a video clip of Jeremy to show you how he's getting on? on the farm then you can put it on one of your videos so I said oh yeah absolutely so we'll do that one of, one of the videos we'll have a little clip will come up hopefully of, um, of Jeremy um, wherever he is but he's fine I know people have been asking when is Jeremy coming and um, like I said uh, um, Caleb said he's no sheep not not at all not going to happen so um, we're not going to be doing sheep <laughs> so uh, feed um, I'll do the water I think we've got the smaller water tank here we've got the bigger one down at the farm that's a thousand litres. I'm just thinking the other one's bigger. It might be quicker and easier to use that. But the water's right next. Actually, you know what? No, we'll grab that. We'll use the land as well. Why not? We'll get the water in. And then while we're doing that, we should get word of the delivery of, um, of pig food. We can get that in. And get that unloaded. Let's get the gates open. I'll do this one and then we'll go through that one as well. Hopefully they won't escape. <laughs> we live in hope. I've got a thousand years in here, so I can do it first. So what I'll do is close that behind me so they can't get out that way. At least if they go into this pen here. I say they can't go anywhere. We've got the pond there. I suppose, yeah, they can get out around there, can't they? That's the last one we need, chasing pigs around the yard. Got some water in. Chimney, of course, that doesn't freeze. Like I said we are in positive, positive figures at the moment, but it is going to temperature is going to drop again. So we go around through here. Just dip our toe in a little bit. I don't suppose I can get the tree to come up from this side, can I? I'm just thinking if I could, that would make life a little bit easier. No. Right. I realised I was editing the other day. Sometimes when I'm talking to myself now, I found I'm not mumbling, but I, I, my, the volume of my voice goes down because I'm, I'm sort of thinking, but thinking out loud. But not loud enough for people to hear. Someone messaged me and say, "You were saying something the other day, and I couldn't catch half what you were saying." And I said, "Oh yes, because it was a that was a verbalised thought." <laughs> so you get a thought bubble come up and a transcript. So I'll see you in a minute when we've got these all watered. It's 104, and we have got a big pig in problem. You've probably already seen it from the thumbnail. I was sent a picture uh, from the lorry driver. The pig food being delivered to Court Farm has encountered something of a snag. In the snow, before the snow cleared, uh, he's gone off the road and into a ditch. Um, quite a sizeable ditch. And we've got to try and work out we're going to get him out. I'm not sure. Um, potentially. I was watching actually Cole the Cornstar the other day and um, one of their lorries they were coming out of the field and they've got their sort of entry and exit ways off the field and um, the trailer had slid into the ditch to the side and when they tried to pull it it just dragged it down the ditch so they had to unload a load of corn off of it before they could move it so I'm now thinking actually 
Are we going to have to unload it? We might have to unload it to move it. I and this is I honestly don't know. <laughs> I've got an idea of how we might be able to move it, I think. Um, but anyway, we need to get to it first, assess the situation. I think we have to go and get the Land Rover and pop to the store. Um, it's a pity that the winch systems, with the Platinum expansion, the winches for logging. I know people will use logs and various different things, and you can attach to a log, and if you've attached a log to something, you can then winch. But um, I know... Um, Alien Jim put up a video oh, ages ago now, months ago, where he was working on a, a system for attachment. And I know we do have a, like a Yankum rope. We might be able to use, I don't know, like I say, we'll have a look. I mean, from the picture, it looks like it's pretty deep into the ditch. So I don't even know, even with those items, if we're going to get it out. If we, if we can't, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> We'll just torch it, claim it was nicked, and claim with insurance. Oh, my days. That's, um... That's not good. So, Court Farmers ordered 25,000 litres of pig food. Um, there's... What did he say was on there? 16? I think. Oh, that's in there. I mean, that's not even a ditch, that's a river. That's in there. I dread to think what the pallets are going to look like in the back of there and the back corners in water as well. So we could be in a position. But potentially just the bottom pallet there could be water damaged. How are we going to get this out? I'm assuming he's turned the corner here and just the backs just slid. I suppose one, a ditch, especially a ditch this steep, once you get a wheel in it, once the back goes, especially with the weight in it, you don't stand a chance, do you? Um. Yeah, store, I guess. And I drove this out. I, I say, unless I could push it out, there's not really much. It's going to be a winch job, isn't it? I suppose possibly. Not winch, um, like rope rope from the front went push from the back with something but the problem is you risk getting something else stuck in the ditch i'm also concerned pulling this out this could do exactly what the trailer did on cold the corn stars video where because of this the the angle of this how steep that is if we try and pull oh look at that ft18 hog <laughs> cool if we head in that direction that way is the back so heavy it's just going to drag the back along this embankment oh um, just thinking, does it get shallower anywhere that we could pull it along and get it out? Not really. We hit a culvert there. That's not going to help. Oh, okay, right. So, store. That's next step. Um, is it recovery rope? Was it the recovery rope? We'll have a look. See what we can find. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. That's all I can do. Let's go back and get the Land Rover now. Glad to put my big coat on. It is the recovery rope. Supplied by Viper GTS 96. That's what we'll try. I don't have a winch on the Land Rover. It doesn't come with one. Um, there's the fifth wheel winch, but like I say, unless you can attach it to something on the lorry. I wonder if you could combine the two, that's something worth trying at some point, is the um, recovery rope. Um, it has an attachment. I wonder if you can attach a winch to the recovery rope. Probably not. I wouldn't have thought they'd be compatible, but you never know. Could be. Right, into the store every single time. Go the wrong way. We need help. We need a recovery rope. Uh, we need to go to uh, miscellaneous. Let's browse the catalogue. Here we go. We want that recovery mount. I want it in a colour that we can see. No, not white. It's snowing. That's not a brilliant idea, is it? 
Should we have bright red? Let's go bright red. That will match the rope as well. Then lease that for 35. Then we'll go for the red rope. Is there a difference? What different lengths are they all? Don't look it. Let's lease that for 25. Fingers crossed. Let's pick that up. Sling at the back. I don't know if this rope coils up. Is the rope coil? I'm hoping we can put that in the back. So I just drop it? Yep. I suppose I could just attach it to the bumper and drag it. But that's not good, is it? I don't know if it's supposed to. No, it's, not a big, it's not a big fan, is it? How are you supposed to transport that then? That's weird. If I grab this end of it now, it's going to just take it back out the trailer. Uh, back out. Yeah, that's. Uh, there's no option to coil it up, is there? What about. I'm just going to have to drag it behind. That's not ideal, is it? He says. Well, it's supposed to hook up to a hitch. Oh, come on, man. That's supposed to hook up. I thought I'd just think in the back. No problem. No fuss and no muss. What have I just connected? I'll just drop it like that and then do that. Will that hold it in place? Yes, we'll just drag it like that behind us. It's alright, just a little bit out of the bag. Right, let's get over there, see if we can hook this up. It's going to be carnage! But hey. <laughs> like I've said before, it may be carnage, but it's never a dull moment. There's always something happening. And this is the sort of thing that happens in real life, and it? Stuff goes wrong. As the famous phrase goes, stuff happens. Insert other words here. Then that rope's going to be absolutely useless by the time we get it. Assuming, of course, I can even hook any of this up. <laughs> this is. So this is one of those, eh, well, you know, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go live. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, like I say, I don't know what I'm going to do. I uh, might have to just get the tractor behind and give it a good old shove. I don't know. There's got to be some way of doing it, surely. Right, so, straps off. Let's grab the ropage. It's all a bit ropey. I can grab the end of that. And then that goes... I'm sure it hooks up to the tractor, doesn't it? There we go. So we attach that to there. And we grab that on the back. Do we? Ah. Grab that on the back. And attach that to the front down low, as low as we can get it actually. Um, how do we want to do this? Let's get it nice and low, push it onto the front of there, and then just strap it. I think straps right. Oh, let go of it would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, we need to get in here. Actually, I'm going to go in for the passenger door. <laughs> Start the engine, lights on, there's no beacons, Let's pop out, oh, I'm get wet. and then we need to back that up. What could possibly go wrong? Do that. Boop, boop, boop. Have the engine running on the vehicle that I'm recovering, so there's no brakes on. Drop that there, back in there. Oh come on, that's supposed to hook up, isn't it? Mm. 
that should have registered, recognised that. Or do I do it from the other end? So I do it from this end. Ah, oh, okay. Attached to the mount. We're on. <laughs> Shall we see? Let's give it some beans. We'll take it nice and steady. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Come on, that's supposed to work. Yank him. Oh, hang on. We had a bit of movement. I don't want to take it along the ditch because it's just going to get stuck even more. Oh, it's really hoping that will come out of there. Come on, beans. Oh, there was a bit of movement. I saw it. Come on. Come on. Yep. There was some movement. As long as we keep going the right direction. Go. I don't want this to... It's going to go the wrong way, isn't it? If, it, if this rolls over now, I've had it. Sure that moves, come on. We're getting a little bit. I just need it out of that, that real bottom bit of the ditch. If we can get out the bottom bit, we might be able to get it out. Come on. It's imperceptible, but it does feel like I'm getting a bit every single time. How we haven't yanked the bottom of the chassis off that lorry yet, I've no idea. Come on. Or the back end off the tractor, of course. That's the other problem we could encounter. It's definitely wobbling. <laughs> Come on! All of a sudden, it's going to go twang. It's either going to break free, or the lorry's just going to suddenly come out. Is it? Is it getting worse? No, it's tipping. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. That's going to tip over. Right. No. I need to keep the tension on that. No, 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 no. I think it keeps bouncing back. I, I need to just get tension on it. What if I try and pull it a different direction? Oh, this is a nightmare. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. It was always that kind of, oh, well, we'll give it a go. That's even worse. I've, uh, I've made it worse. What about if we go... I might just go through the bushes a little bit here. It's all good fun. Until someone loses a lorry. Where you need two people because if I was um, one person was doing this, one was in the lorry accelerating. At least it hasn't tipped back over. So I don't want to pull it from the back because that's not going to work. Okay, so at least it's not tipped over as bad. I think what we're going to have to do is get another tractor let's jump the ditch um, and push or the telehandler maybe. Will the telehandler be enough? And push here and hope we don't get a tractor stuck in the ditch. And then if we get a tractor stuck in the ditch that's going to be easier to get out with the rope than it is this. But I'm thinking if we can push this at least up the bank a bit I mean, that's properly in there, isn't it? This is sort of thing that would require a recovery crane, something massive. Couldn't have found a smaller ditch to go in, could they? Right. Another tractor. Oh, actually. Uh, just thinking of the front loader, no, I'll break that. 
I haven't got enough weight of the back axle on that either. Just thinking if I can just shove it, just give it a shove. I don't know. <laughs> it's a good idea in theory. Oh, honestly, I was really hoping to get this out, get it back, get the food unloaded, and then go and do some deliveries. <laughs> At this rate, we're going to have to lease or get someone to come out. Um, like a big American, like the big old recovery vehicles. We do actually have. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if it's just because the tractor doesn't have enough grunt. If we had that attached to something else. Oh, well, let's try this. I don't know. This is going to be a nightmare because I think it's just going to roll over, isn't it? I'm just trying to work out if we can just give this a shove at the back, but I think if we tip this too far, it does not want to come out of that. It's the bottom of this ditch. It's really bad. What about if I go from the back? Like I say, I'm just worried if I go for something bigger, which I could do, are we just going to then have a problem that um, we just roll it over? Right? At the moment, we've avoided rolling it too much. I don't want to slam into the back of it, but we can just push. Just get a bit of weight going there. That's not going anywhere. More power! Maybe a bigger tractor. I wonder if any of the farmers locally have got anything like a proper old monster, you know? Something with jewels, tracks. Oh, hang on. Hello. Just cave the doors in, but you know. No, I'm just taking that further down there. That's going to roll, isn't it? Yep. Back to where we were before. I mean, it could just be this thing is just stuck fast. It doesn't matter what I use. See if we can find a bigger tractor. If, if there's a farmer that's got one. I just, want, I just want to pull this thing out. I, I don't... So many vehicles here, aren't we? At this point, yeah, just, just get this thing out. If it won't work with something bigger, then it's going to have to be a recovery lorry or something like that. I don't know. Or we just open the sides up. How are we going to... We can't unload that. There's no way. You wouldn't get forks into that. If we open it up and undo the straps, everything's just going to fall out of there into the ditch. Right. Engine off. I'm going to knock at the farm here. Let's see if they know anyone locally. We may be in luck. One of the neighbours has got a big old fence. Tracked. Actually, I was thinking I might have to turn around back there, but this should be able to turn around on a sixpence. Sort of. <laughs> it's a big old beastie. Got to give it a go. Where's the rope? 
Okay, that's that end hooked up. I'm thinking. Like I said, it's easy to get a tractor out of the ditch. I think. So I think what we're going to do, sacrificial tractor. If we stick the tractor in the ditch without rolling it, that'd be great. So the lorry doesn't roll out. No, 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 no. No. Whoa, that's deep. If we put that here, then the lorry shouldn't roll over? Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, I don't know. Whoa. There we go. Uh, and that's about there, maybe. Okay. We just needed more power. That's all we needed. First time. I didn't even turn the engine on. I forgot to turn the engine on. The only problem is it doesn't steer. You can't do anything about that. Oh, we're out. Can I get the tractor out though? That's the question. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, so we just now need to just connect that. Run that. Oh, just raw power. Just connect that. Move that out of the way. Put that down there. I mean, it took three tractors. That's all right. pretty good now. Now. Where can I get up here that this isn't going to roll? Actually, that's not too bad, does it? Oh, mighty John Deere. All this now, let's go back to the farm now. Let's get these pigs fed. <laughs> I have to say, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Problem solving. You have an idea, you think, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm sure we can try this. We'll see if it'll work. Things don't always go to plan, but it's then what you do to resolve it. I mean, borrowing someone else's tractor, that's the answer. I try to think what everything's looking like in here. Let's uh, open the back up. Well, we've got a little bit of, a little bit of the top lynch, but not too bad. Cool. Right. That's good to go. We can go and get the lorry driver. He's in the little cottage over there. He went into the warm. They've been very friendly, very helpful. They've been great with us. They rang around a few of the neighbours. And they said, oh yeah, no problem. We can help you out. We've got some stuff. So... We just... Disconnect... That... that back in the back of the uh, Land Rover, take those back are we good? right let's get this equipment back it's getting dark again look, it's horrendous oh I'm so pleased that worked, that was brilliant this thing, whoa what a weapon I think the driver's nerves are shot. <laughs> He's had a ropey day. Can't blame him. I can't believe how dark it's got already. What do we have today? Three hours of sunlight? 
say sunlight, daylight, maybe twilight. It was, it was yeah, not great. So what we'll do, swing around so we can open the side up. Looks a lot brighter in the mirrors than it actually is. Isn't that weird? So, if we open up the rear door, side doors, uh, yeah, it could have been worse. Engine off. Oh, actually, hang on. Traps. Engine off. Let's go and grab the telehandler, some forks, and let's get some of these pallets off. Feed the pigs and they'll be happy. Um, I think I'm going to take... I'm going to take my apples. Yeah, we'll take my apples around. I'll um, take the class with the front loader, and then when we get around to the pet accessories, if they've got any of their um, long planks ready, we'll see if we can put some of those in. Because again, that's, uh, I was trying to test that last time, but it, I, yeah, it didn't work because it wouldn't take logs. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a go as well. Lights, our forks are on, cool. Should I? Just worried about the ones here falling. They are going to fall, aren't they? Looks like it. Should be able to do two at a time, hopefully, with this. Not gone too far. Back up a bit. I think I've got four there, haven't I? Go right forward. I mean, it's only 16,000 litres there. They could well take a whole load more. Oh, that they fell. So we'll have to see. Look at that pig. He's just looking. He's looking. Just going to try and make his escape. Top ones have fallen off. No. <laughs> At least we got some feeding for them. For a while there, I thought. Oh, oh I took both. That's right. Cool. Um, for a while there, I thought we were going to lose the lorry. I thought it was going to go right over its side, and we wouldn't be able to get it out. Um, so I thought, if you have to reset it, and you lose everything, in it. That would have been frustrating. Somewhat. Uh, let's go with from the back next, I think. Land Rover could probably do a bit of moved. What about came out of there? We can but try. Huh. Look at me. Unloading a lorry with pallet forks. Not a big bag handler in sight, people. Not a big bag handler in sight. Does anyone watch that series, Life on Planet Earth, on dis on um, Netflix? I was watching um, Adam Savage Netflix. Oh, uh, Netflix tested, and he had a guy on. I think one of his friends that they'd worked with in the past on uh, Mythbusters and stuff like that. And they were talking about this new series and it's been produced by Steven Spielberg and it marries up um, real footage of uh, animals. A little bit li uh, like, um, is it called Life on Our Planet? Yeah, it's a little bit like Planet Earth, but it's, it's, it's the evolution of the planet and everything on it. So not it's not just animals, it's about how 
the world, the planet evolved, and each time it evolved, the animals and creatures that evolved with it in each different period, and then each big um, mass extinction, and what the mass extinction did, what it caused, and then how it then moved forward after that. It's a br I mean, just a fantastic series. I was transfixed. I, I learned so much that I didn't know um, already. And the scale of time, it, it also added on to me this thing of, still I believe firmly, the arrogance of humankind. The fact that we have brains and we can think, great, but it's this arrogance that we think we're so much more important or special than any other species that's ever come before us. We are one of millions of species that have been on this planet and will be on this planet. Um, and we have our big brain moments and we think we're more important or that we, we are worth more or that we are, you know, if you go forward, if this planet live, goes on another 50 million years, we could end up just being a speck. We could end up being, you know, you watch the program and you've got species that existed and became extinct for various different reasons. They didn't evolve, they had natural predators, they would they were just, you know, and they weren't made extinct by us. We had nothing to do with it. It was millions of years before we even existed. So that thing of, you know, we we, we are responsible for the extinction of so many species. No, it happened. I mean, we are, but, it, but I'm talking like generally speaking. And you've got species here that were dominant on the planet for millions of years and died out through various different reasons. Um, quirks of fate, changes in climate, and that's the other thing as well. The whole climate change thing. The climate's changing anyway. The climate has always changed. It goes through heating and cooling periods. It always has, it always will. But again, the scale of time on there, one of them, there was a cooling period and over half or two thirds of the planet froze. 200,000 years it stayed frozen. You can't comprehend that scale of time. And I think one of the species, after one of the big extinction sort of events, there was a, this creature, and it was a little sort of pig-sized, between a sort of pig and a dog, had no natural predators. Um, and for four million years, it lived on the planet, and it, it just was happy as Larry. It lived, it grew, they spread, they because it, it was okay. You know, there was nothing. There was the food sources got more and more. But over those four million years another species evolved and became predatorial and wiped them out off the face of the earth like they never existed it, it was honestly it's a fantastic program i don't know why i got to talk about that um anyway i'm gonna get some more of this pig food unloaded we finally got it here we got it unloaded i'm gonna then go and grab my apples i'll take those out i'll get those delivered because i'm also not very conscious of time but we've um we've got a few more to unload how are we looking as far as the animals go Pigs and their pig food, water's fine. <laughs> the 16,000 days is not going to touch the sides, is it? Okay, we're going to have to sort out getting, well, I say we are. Court farms are going to have to sort out getting bulk, I think. Now, what are we looking for milk? 11,620 litres? That's not bad. Right, let's get the rest of this unloaded. Well, I'm really glad we got that big pig in problem sorted out, because at least the pigs are fed. Uh, like I say, we are going to need to get some more. We'll organise that. I'm bringing my apples down. We've got 12,000 litres worth of apples. We did all right with the apples last time. I don't know if the price has gone down. I haven't really been checking. Um, we need to turn in here. Gate. Turn those on as well. Hey, 
How have I got stuck again? Yeah, all right, toot toot. There we go. Okay. Wasn't as good as last time, I don't think, or was it? But it's still 14 grand, isn't it? 14 grand is 14 grand. So, as I was saying, we dropped off logs and there you go, they've still got some here, and they've been transforming them into, there you go, long planks. Um, I don't think we can pick these up, can we? Can we pick those up? No, we need the forks. Um, there's some down there as well. So I don't know if it's going to take them from here, because like I say, this is owned by Winscombe Post Office, or whether we need to be on their account. So this was all part of testing. Oh, oh, this is so frustrating, the darkness. Uh, so let's detach from that first of all. There we go. Let's grab one of these and see what happens. I might split that out a little bit because it's quite a large pallet. Oh, it's taken them. Cool, okay. So that was the point. We got paid for the logging we did. This is the... Um, They've done the long planks, we're dropping the long planks off and then they'll be producing pet supplies. Although, I'm pretty sure we can only do two of the three because I'm pretty sure, did I say pretty sure twice? Um, that one of them requires wool. Uh, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to access it. Unless I'm on Winscombe. Bear with me. Let's change bank account over to Winscombe Post Office. And then go to here, there we go. So, yeah, we can do the bird house and we can do the dog house. The cat house, uh, the cat tree requires wool. So we can do bird houses and we can do dog houses. Interesting amount that's gone in. They're on storing. Uh, so I can switch back now to our bank account. We are on... Caleb Cooper contracting. I'll spend some more time putting some more of this in. So uh, thank you for joining me. Like I say, I know it's not ideal with the weather and, and the light. And I will jump ahead from here, I think, probably... Well, once it starts getting lighter, I'm hoping sort of February, maybe February, even possibly March. Uh, we'll see how we, our crops are doing, that kind of thing. I'll keep up with... And it's the one thing I've always said, and I'll still say it because people always say to me... You know, why don't you speed up time when you're doing FS22? You should jump ahead further. And, and like I said, that's great unless you're running animals. If you're running animals, you've still got all the upkeep. You've still got to keep them fed. You've still got the, if they need mucking out, you've still got to muck them out. Um, you can jump ahead a couple of months before the feed runs out, but you've still got to feed them. And if you're short of feed, you need to supply, you know, you've got to get that feed from somewhere. So it's not as straightforward. It's not easier to jump ahead if you don't have um, any. And uh, also if you're, um, if you're running a system or a set of mods, depending on what platform you're playing on, that um, allows for automatic filling of stuff. It does make life a lot easier, obviously. So, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully it'll be a bit lighter. We might have more snow on the ground. I don't know. We'll see what the weather's doing. Um, I have got manure pellets to bring here from Court Farm. Uh, we'll look how the pigs are doing and we'll also then look at the potential for horses. So that's something that we're talking about. We can certainly do hay. Oats, mm, well, yeah, we might need to sort out because we've got no crop. We've got no oats stored anywhere. Well, I suppose we could buy, we can buy horse food. If, if we needed to, we could buy horse food. Anyway, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.